Well, I know we're the flagship university for the state, and I know research is a big deal here. It really is, and we certainly need to support that. But teaching, teaching professions, bettering the Commonwealth through the work that we do, uh, those are all critical. Well, it's important for us to show value to the community and to society that what we're doing makes a difference. And so the, I think the best way that we can do that is through good, effective teaching. It's important for the world to know that research universities do care about the undergraduate experience. And insofar as this award lets me and us yell that out to the world, then it's, it's profoundly important. I think it's fantastic. This is a way of saying, actually, this is why we're here. We are forming people. We are training people. Not just to be successful in what they're studying, but also to be successful in life. If I know that my students will have happier, more fulfilled lives, will do good work, uh, this really means everything to me. I nominated Dr. Gabriel Dadi. When I compare him to other professors that I took class with, he's the best one to me. I teach because I, first and foremost, just really enjoy learning and sharing what I know with others. When you see the student get what, what you're teaching, and you can tell whether it's in the classroom or you're dealing with them one-on-one, -on -one, in a meeting, you can tell when that happens. And when that light clicks and they know what you're talking about and they get excited about what you're talking about, um, that's, that's what really drives me to teach every day. And when you do that, when you put in the hard work, you know, at night, you know, on the weekends to try to figure out how can I reach these students and you see that payoff, that's what, that's what keeps you going. I would like to thank him a lot for the continuous support that he, he, he's always there to me when I need him. And I hope in the future I'm going to return some of what he gave me uh, in terms of learning or the help or the support. I mean, what more could you ask for? Super uh, researcher, uh, excellent teacher and a nice person. I nominated Dr. Fuente Alba. I nominated him because I think uh, he's the best teacher and he's influenced my education the most, I believe. It means a lot. I have had some awards in the past, but I think this is the greatest award I have, have in academia. Something that comes from your students, it makes us feel different. His way of teaching is different because uh, he keeps all his students engaged throughout the lecture. He makes us think. I try always, when I see the students in the classroom, I see myself sitting in there. I try to teach them what I was expecting to be taught when I was a student. Because I mean, to be honest with you, uh, we put a lot of pressure on them. Um, I'm on top of them at every minute. Um, but I always say to them that after they graduate, without a doubt, we're going to be friends. He is the best. I try to be like him, so, you know, and I really appreciate all his hard work, and he has definitely influenced me as a person, as a student, as a clinician. I nominated Professor Melina Minkova. She's a rock star. You might not have known that before. Um, she's not just a rock star to her students. She's really internationally well known as one of the best Latin speakers in the world. So that's part of why you nominate someone. But it's not just that, because I didn't just nominate her for her scholarly abilities. Her door is always open and she makes you feel like any problem you have, any worry you have, any concern, you are her first priority. That's rare. 
it was and it is very moving to have this award. It is very moving that uh, my students wanted to reflect uh, on our common quest of knowledge. I want my students to be successful. This is what motivates me every day. If together with my students, we catch, kind of a catch a glimpse of what is good, this is very fulfilling. This makes our lives happier, better, and it's very rewarding. I'm very happy that uh, um, I have made some contribution, some change, um, and I'm very grateful that these students have been so thoughtful as to think about their teacher. I nominated Robert Prattley for the Great Teacher Award because he's just very energetic and outgoing and you can tell that he loves what he does. He's so enthusiastic about everything, about just how he presents the material that it makes you want to learn his subject even if you're like not really interested in it. He, he's just so fascinating. Um, he's a really great person and he was an awesome, awesome professor to have. Well, it's a great honor. It feels great because I've put a lot of time into teaching and a lot of effort, more effort into that than all of my other job responsibilities. I like learning. I like being involved with learning and I like um, imparting learning to students. I like the interaction. And this sounds corny too, but actually investing in their outcomes. And I think a lot of them sense that, actually. I think they can sense that um, even though the classes are hard, and they are, I'm kind of on their side. He wants to learn about you, and he wants to know what your goals are, and he really genuinely cares. He's a person that you could go and talk to just about anything. If you're having a good day, a bad day, it didn't even have to be about class. And I think that makes him not only a great teacher, but an exceptional one. I nominated Dr. Sachs um, in the French department for the Great Teacher Award this year. Dr. Sachs is a really phenomenal educator. He really takes a great interest and has a great passion for his students. It's heartwarming to be recognized for something that you care so much about. My life was changed when I was an undergraduate thanks to dedicated teachers. I was an immature student and thanks to a few and in particular one dedicated teacher, uh, my life changed. I discovered studies and I said to myself, you know, if I can do for one other at some time what this person has done for me, that will be a successful career. He genuinely cares about students. You don't know on what day you will connect with the student. You don't know on what day that click will happen. So one thing that motivates me is the idea that maybe it'll be this day for that student. So I need to be on and prepared and be able to make the environment right so that that could happen. I would just like to thank him for being such a warm and caring professor. I can't think of a more deserving professor on UK's campus to have this award. Professor Bruce Swetnam from the College of Design. He's been such an influential professor in my career, really within the last year of my uh, college education. Um, but he's just shown so much dedication to his students. When it comes from the students, it's just really wonderful because that's who we're here to serve. And so that means a great deal. I'm actually a special title series faculty member, and my focus is teaching to students. And so I carry a little bit heavier load, and that's exactly what I want to do. 
I remember my dad told me one time, a long time ago, he says, uh, if you end up in a job that you love, you'll never have to work a day in your life. And so here I am, almost 30 years later, <laughs> still doing it. But what's not to like? You're around young, energetic uh, people that love the same kind of things that you do. It's a way to serve. I think he inspires me to make sure that I'm living out my fullest potential as a student, as a future architect, and just as a person. I think I'd just like to say thank you for everything he's done for me and for my peers, for everyone at the College of Design and the University. He's truly the best teacher and definitely deserves some recognition. It's just wonderful to get a pat on the back. You know, you, you think you're doing okay, but for somebody to, like the Alumni Association to actually recognize that and the students recognize that means a tremendous amount.